Hello, I'm Trung X, and welcome to my video. Do you recognize this from Hungry Shark Evolution? I was introduced to this game by a friend, and I'm still a beginner, but I find it quite interesting. Especially because I'm a big fan of sharks. You've just been spoiled with a quick teaser of this week's diorama. And now, I'm enlightened with a new diorama idea for my channel. Initially, I was planning to sculpt a regular shark, but I changed my mind. We're going to create a diorama with a terrifying zombie shark fighting a giant crab in its lair. I chose the giant crab because I've never sculpted a crab before. Hopefully, it won't turn out too bad. Let's get started. Unlike my usual process. I'll start with the crab. As I mentioned, I've never sculpted a crab before, so I'm quite excited about this and will work on it first. I'm using steel wire and aluminum foil to shape the crab. A large shell, four legs, and two sturdy claws. The wire and foil will help me get the basic shape of the crab. It'll also save me some polymer clay since polymer clay can be quite expensive. Please continue to support my channel, so I can afford to make more interesting dioramas for you. The legs will provide support for the large shell and the two heavy claws, so I need to make them sturdy. I'm starting with polymer clay for the outer layer of the shell. The appearance of this crab is quite unique. And while I've referenced some images on Google, they're not very clear. I've had to do some anatomical research on marine crabs, but I didn't have much time, so it might not be entirely accurate. I hope you don't mind. The eyes of this crab will be a bit protruding. In real life, I've seen many crabs with eyes that stick out like short stalks, they look quite fascinating. Next is the mouth, or possibly the beak. I'm not expertise in this, so I'm trying to make it similar to the image. Wait a minute, my workshop is a bit messy. As you may know, we're resin artists we are passionate about producing decorative resin art items. I decided to use this wooden partition so that unrelated objects wouldn't make you distracted. I hope this will make your experience more enjoyable. We're not professional video creators, making these videos is our passion to raise people's awareness of resin art through creative dioramas. Back to our diorama, after reinforcing the legs, I will wrap them in aluminum foil before applying polymer clay as the outer layer.
The polymer clay I'm using is somewhat soft and a bit challenging to shape, but it's more cost-effective compared to other polymer clays. I'm making 8 legs one by one. Next up are the two strong claws. They're definitely the crab's most powerful weapons. I've been pinched by crabs using their claws a few times, and it's quite hurt not a positive experience. Trust me, don't try to tease a marine crab. I'll shape the giant crab as how it appears in the game, so it might differ from real-life crabs in a few aspects. That's the end of our boss, giant crab, sculpting. How do you like it? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, let's paint the crab. I found an image on Google, and I'm going to paint it purple, just like the image. I think the eyes should stand out more. Alright, I think that's enough for this crab. Take a closer look. Honestly, I quite enjoyed working on the crab sculpture. So maybe if you'd like, I'll make more crab dioramas in the future. Of course, they will be my imagination's versions, and I think they'll be quite terrifying. Okay, the boss crab is complete. Now it's time to create the main character in most of my videos, the shark. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'll be making a zombie shark. I think a zombie shark fighting the giant crab will be more dramatic. A regular shark would be easily defeated by the giant crab, it would swim away and call the zombie shark to help fight the giant crab. Quite logical, right? I'll place the giant crab at a distance so it can witness the entire process of creating a zombie shark. He'll like the process, right? To make a zombie shark, I'll first create a regular shark. Then, I'll modify some parts of its body, like torn fins, exposed bones, large open wounds on its body oozing with blood, and, of course, sharp, menacing teeth.
The sculpture of the zombie shark is complete. Before painting, let's take a closer look. I hope you like my zombie shark sculpture. During the painting stage, I'll give it the same colors as a regular shark, gray on top and light gray on the bottom. Then, I'll paint the open, bleeding wounds. The mouth should look frightening, right? The zombie shark is complete, and I'll let you observe it for a moment. I'm shooting this video with an old phone, so the image quality isn't the best. Occasionally, I borrow my friend's semi-professional camera, and videos shot with that camera have significantly different visuals. I really like it. I'll try to save money to buy a camera for myself. Then my videos will have much better visuals. I hope that will make my videos more popular. The main part is done, now it's time to create the surrounding environment. It will be a crab den, with the giant crab guarding its eggs in the lair, surrounded by vibrant coral reefs. Let's get started. For this diorama, I'll use only plaster and polymer clay. After shaping with plaster, I'll start painting it. The rock cliffs will be a gray-blue color. The eggs will be golden and shiny. As for the coral reefs, I'll sculpt various shapes and use different colors. I've always loved admiring the bright coral reefs when diving in the ocean, All right, this will do. Now it's time to create the mold and pour epoxy resin for this diorama. I hope there won't be any mistakes during this process. I don't have epoxy resin that can be poured thick enough in one go, so I'll pour it in two or three times. It might not look as perfect, 
but I have no other choice. A bit of roughness in the surface will make the diorama look more authentic. Now, it's time to present the masterpiece. Thank you.